Hello friends, today we are going to discuss about the Victorian era of uh, English literature. As the name suggests, uh, this period uh, was during the reign of Queen Victoria when she ascended the throne in 1837. The period lasted in 1900. The Victorian period is considered to be one of the most glorious periods in British history. This period witnessed many important social and historical changes. The reform bill on civil liberties was passed which gave many rights to common people. Voting rights were also given to the common people. The British Empire expanded and Britain ruled almost the whole of the world. Britain saw a lot of industrial growth and scientific discoveries also during this period. There was a lot of economic growth, but at the same time, there was poverty and exploitation. As Charles Dickens has rightly depicted in his novels such as Oliver Twist and David Copperfield. But due to industrialization, there was a change in Britain's landscape. So this was also one of the reasons where romantics loved nature and the Victorians had to compromise. The Victorian age was an age of compromise. They did not reject their predecessors outright and tried to strike a balance between the past and the present. The Romantic era was an era of imagination, but now this Victorian era, they were they they were like they were in the present. They lived in the present. So it is called an era of realism and self-consciousness. There was also press on religion and morality. There were very strict social norms. There were societal codes of conduct and some extra for women, like how they need to dress, speak and how to present themselves. Now, as we see during the Victorian era, there were very few options available for women professionally. So mostly they were dependent financially on their husbands or their fathers. And it led to the commercialization of institution of marriage. Now, as we can see, during the Victorian era, some of the, it has seen some of very good uh, women authors like Bronte sisters, Emily Bronte, Charlotte Bronte, George Eliot, and Christina Rossetti. They all had masculine sounding pen names because women at that time were not allowed in lead roles. They were not allowed to step out of the house and uh, take any profession which they... The Victorians... Uh tried to strike a balance between religion and science. In the same era, Charles Darwin, he was a great scientist, he published his book named On the Origin of Species by Means of Natural Selection. This book explained that man has evolved from animals. This concept shook the Christian faith that has been believing that God created Adam and Eve and God was controlling the mankind. The Victorian poets tried to strike a balance. So they tried to strike a balance between science and religion because they were very compromising. They did not want to reject anything outright. Victorian era also saw first wave critics. Now criticism before this era was not acceptable. It was not liked by people. But this era it gave room to a lot of critics and to name a few good ones, Thomas Carlyle, Matthew Arnold, John Ruskin, John Henry Newman, also called Cardinal Newman. So these people had given a notable contribution in literature as well as in society. Now, if we look at uh, the Victorian poets, some of the great poets are Robert Browning, Elizabeth Barrett Browning, Alfred Lord Tennyson, Oscar Wilde, 
Dante Gabriel Rossetti, Christina Rossetti. Now these are the um, poets prescribed in MEG1 also. And these are some of the Now if we look at the novelists, Victorian age also had great novelists like Charles Dickens, Lewis Carroll, George Eliot, Emily Bronte, Charlotte Bronte, Rudyard Kipling, Robert Louis Stevenson, Joseph Conrad, Victorian era emerged as a new form of expression where novels were like they emerged as a new form of expression. This age saw the rise of novel genre. Although poetry is not as great as the poetry of the romantic period, but the novels saw a great rise. From romanticism to realism, politics to passion, optimism to pessimism, the novel could successfully deal with the changing mood of the society. Novels dealt with subjects like class, gender, individuals and society. This period was known to have witnessed a massive change of Britain from agrarian to industrial landscape and that is being de depicted in all the novels and poetry. So uh, by this uh, we come to an end to the Victorian era. In the next slide we will see some of the Victorian poets, some of the novelists. So thank you for now. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please subscribe, like and share. Thank you.